Hello everybody, my name is Blackbird, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Welcome back to Life is Strange, we are on part 16. If you are watching me live on Twitch, thank you so much for joining. If you are watching this on YouTube, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, do all the good things. So far, we have been so lucky with the story. It's been going amazingly. I've been very invested, literally audibly gasped last episode. So, without further ado, let's continue, shall we? a little while to load but while that's loading we can have a nice little chat uh, thank you to who just joined the stream my viewer that I have thank you oh uh, to everybody watching stream I know I'm not very active when chatting because I do upload simultaneously so I do try to be active but I also don't want to like break commentary if that makes sense Arizona, 6 a.m., 4th of July. Ironic. Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Que no hacen daño a los niños. Vigilantes. Speak to the couple. Screw the vigilantes. I hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. Excuse me. Do you know where my brother is? He's just a kid. Hello? Hello? Ah. Uh, got it. Okay. Thank you. Pendejo. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Uh, weren't illegal. I'm trying to reach Mexico. When was that? En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Ok. Son vigilantes. 
¿Por qué? Porque necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente. Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba a su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Hey, oh, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I am so sorry. I'm just gonna go with Envy? Envy. I'm gonna go with Envy. I'm calling you Envy. <laughs> Unless you have something for me to call you in the comments. <laughs> um, we're integrated. I'm pessimistic. It's getting better. It's getting better. Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. Not steal or live at your, at your home? Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Mm. We only want work oh. and... And in oh. peace. Yes. Apparently, the, I was about to make a comeback. Let me read. I was going through my options. No? Oh, am I? Okay, sorry. Uh, theme. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Envy. So I hope Envy's cool. <laughs> sorry, Envy. <laughs> Anyway, I was busy with choices. I was gonna get a good comeback. For example, I was gonna go if immigrants built this country because, you know. Uh, resume. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Yeah. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Is it a sovereign nation, though? A sovereign nation is if you defect from your actual... I feel like she's using sovereign nation wrong, isn't she? Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like... like, like, like animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. 
No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie, what'd you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is Siento our country. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> Alright. Envy, Envy, if you want to play this game, I highly recommend it. Like, emotional roller coaster, okay? Like, we are at the end of episodes. I don't know how much of episode 5 we have left. We still have a little while to go, I think. Like, after I do episode 5, we're going to do the alternative choice stream. But it has seriously been an emotional roller coaster, like extremely so for example here we are being baited into a fight by i don't want to say mean things but yeah we're being baited by them and i calmed down diego because she was baiting him into a fight <laughs> uh still very fun though yes you're up how's my brother don't worry about him now turn around Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. Ah, of course, interrogation. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Don't drink the beverage. That's how they get DNA on you and lose DNA and plant it. I've been watching way too many lawyers on TikTok. Security oh, camera, fuck. clock. Door. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Of course not. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Sorry, just trying to listen in. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Okay, what am I missing here? I haven't seen here? Daniel since yesterday. Hey! Let me out of here! But I'm not a legal! I'm a sovereign citizen! Open up! I still feel like she's using sovereign wrong. What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I could go back here again, you're going to Zonk. And of course I don't get a coffee. Rude. Oh wait, there it is. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No, shit. 
Uh, don't drink the coffee. I don't trust them. <sighs> Hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. The officer was the accident. The clerk had it coming. Caught in a, another weird explosion. Again? That was an accident. At a pot farm in California. I got nothing. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Try to break him free of a religious commune. Big difference. Which ends up burnt to the ground. I had nothing to do with that one. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She says a lot. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed it. No one would have believed no it. No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, Daniel's what away. I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Random Axer... We're supervillains. What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. You know what? I don't blame them. Hey! Hey! This is Juan, bullshit! We gotta go! Get us out of here! Let's get him up. He's doing a key. Sean, who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego, they came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. 
That's it. Gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well, no. That's what he what gets. the fuck are you, right? Well... We don't want him around. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit. Don't right move. Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. They're dangerous! Be careful! What the fuck? Uh distract. We will shoot Fire if we need to! Should Understand? Fuck! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't this do anything! Our... Throw that locker. We don't want to kill him. Ah! Yes, want to incapacitate them. Should have known. Saved our asses. Now, let's bail. <coughs> Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, hey, step. What did you back. do? You fucking murderer! Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. <coughs> Rifle. Jelanti's bag. Uh, I think that's everything. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out. When... Do we go for the exit? Take it out, Daniel. Uh, hey, Weezy. Thanks for joining. Dios los bendiga. Okay. Go! Go! Let's roll, Daniel. Okay, you're caught up. Good. Hurry, Sean! Drive! Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is all points bulletin for every unit in the Oh, it's area. okay, I understand. Two adults and two teenagers have escaped from the L Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Well, we can't exactly have a fireworks display, kid. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Oh, 
on. We can't let them get us. Do the thing! You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I think this might be the big choice! Cross the border or surrender. I think this is like the big choice for us. Cross the border, motherfucker, let's go! They make it to the other side. Be careful. No, maybe we should have surrendered, like, maybe.
I'm not sure philosophically if this was the correct good moral choice. But it's too late for that now, so let's keep going. We can go now. Yeah. Let's go home. Oh no. Did did we become a cartello? accidentally became a cartello. I think I think we we accidentally got the bad ending, didn't we? Oh no.
Wait, is that... That Daniel all grown up? Oh! And, uh, and grown up Shaw. Oh, no. Okay, so we accidentally became the leaders of our cartello. However, I thought Mexico was the good ending. So you can't put that one on me. I'm confused on to whether or not this is a good ending. We're sitting on a white sandy beach in Mexico. Like, in some universes, that's a consider that's a type of good ending. I don't know if this is the good ending. I think we may have gotten the oopsie ending. I'm gonna have to Google how many endings this game has, aren't I? You know what? End of the game. We're gonna do an alternative stream after. So let let's have a look see. Okay, so, oopsie daisy, we're gonna have to redo all the way from the beginning, not steal, not do anything bad to get the actual good ending, because I think this, this low-key may have been the bad ending. Uh-oh. 
I'm gonna go with uh oh. Okay, so you decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted, which would have been Mexico, but we just got. Uh, you decided to force the roadblock and Daniel refused, which may have been a bad ending. Uh, you decided to surrender and the police and Daniel accepted, which good ending. Uh, you decided to surrender to the police and Daniel refused, which may have been child rebelling. Uh, overall, you taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. Oopsie! On my bad! My bad, okay? That, that one was on me because I did not know that the lesson of the game was, hey, follow the rules of society! Uh, overall, you taught Daniel to put himself and his brother first. I... Okay, you did try. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. Overall, you got closer to Karen, which good. Uh, you wrote a caring note to Karen. You wrote a. Uh, uh, you wrote a. I didn't know that you could leave Karen the note. Uh, you said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. You said farewell to Joan. Uh, you hugged Karen before leaving. You intervened to calm Diego. Uh, you freed the Mexican couple. Uh, you asked Daniel to open the vigilante cell. Uh, you asked Daniel for revenge on the Ventilaches. Okay, uh, you asked Daniel to kill the officers. You didn't ask Daniel. Okay. Daniel was told off about Messing with the scorpion, Daniel was told off about, uh, uh, Daniel managed to set up Jones Sculpture like he wanted, with your help, Jones Sculpture without your help. How does Jones Sculpture affect anything, though? Uh, okay, so Daniel wasn't concerned about, oh, how am I, go I'm gonna have to get a step-by-step -step on how to get the actual good ending, because I don't know if this was a good ending. Uh, okay, uh, Daniel didn't lash out on the vigilantes, Daniel knocked out the officers, Daniel wasn't asked to kill the officers. Oh, okay. Did, <sighs> thanks for playing and following Sean and Daniel on their journey. Okay, now I'm super confused as to whether or not... Did we get the good... Was that the good ending? Was that the bad ending? What ending was that? I have no idea if we got the good or the bad ending. Okay, so... Uh, and even the background is like Mexico now. Okay! Okay, we're gonna end it here. Thank you everybody for joining. That was really, really a nice... That was an awesome game, but I'm so confused as to whether or not we had the good or the bad ending. I think tomorrow, I'm gonna do a little research, because I know it's cheating, don't, don't give me flack. I want to see how to get the good ending, if that was the good ending, the bad ending, or how many endings the game has. And I think tomorrow we're gonna try and get a different one, follow a little step-by-step -step list on how to do it. But thank you, everybody, for joining on the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube later, please feel free to like, share, follow, subscribe, do all the nice things. I have been Blackbird. This has been Life is Strange. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye-bye.